me and I sat with my sister and this is the program talk to the camera. Today we can a New England view. We can talk to the Minister of Basic and Senior Secondary School Education, Wena Honorable Osman Timbo. Now we go inside an office for go get an interview with him. This interview, your name and know that you be. Uh, Mina Alpha Usman Timbo, Minister for Basic and Senior Secondary Education. Okay, you be the Minister for Basic and Senior Secondary Education. I want to make you tell me what is the current status of um, the ministry right now. Well, for the Ministry of Basic and Senior Secondary Education, we just there about to prepare for the opening of schools for the first time for the 2019-20 academic year. As a ministry, we depend on the preparation for the conference of principals of secondary schools, the head teachers uh, council, as well as the Sierra Leone Teachers Union and the Teaching Service Commission, who they work together for make we able to prepare the minds of parents, teachers, and pupils. Then for make them know say on the 16th of September uh, this year, schools then will reopen for the 2019-20 academic year. And as you talk about the meeting, we wanna get forget with um the secondary school and um, principals them. Um, I want to know if it does come in here if we don't approve um teachers them um, for enroll in the secondary schools there. Um. Yes, uh, the president may approve additional teachers of five thousand who they add to the payroll now this year. And uh, the I want for report say as I talk so now. We don't conclude the processes for almost about 4,600. So by this week, everything will be done. We will make sure she then they into the payroll. And then you just say, so I will not come across, I'm, I will not able to forget them. Well, the teachers, they will want to go inside the teaching profession, then Boku. Uh, the estimated number we will get us right now is about 35,000. So if they want to come, it will be 40,000 plus. When we don't do the estimate for the pre-quality school education program, the census will don't conduct. In the future, for me, we we'll get a comprehensive uh, uh, number of teachers, and we will get up to about the, about 108,000. And um, last year, the president, His Excellency, Retired Brigadier Julius Madabiu, they launched the free quality education. Um, I go want to know, Within some of the successes we wanna be make during the past year free quality education. Well, normally we not can left for talk about two successes. We only other people evaluate we actions them. But uh, in in summary, the president we launched the free quality on the twentieth of August last year. He made some significant pronouncements. The first one is say he will abolish uh, admission and tuition fees for all government and government assisted schools. So as I talk so. The 2018-2019 academic year, we will accomplish that by making sure that uh, government pay the school fee subsidy for all people who uh, they attend government and government assisted school amount to billions of billions. Then at the first promise. The second promise is say we will supply them with core textbooks of English language maths, the integrated science and social studies for all picking the other attend government and government assisted schools. I'm very proud also for say through the councils them, uh, the president will be able to realize that particular promise there. The third promise inside the package was governments will pay the NPSC, the BK and the WAS and NVQ examinations for all people that will take the public examinations. And down the back a please for talk say Yes, government able for do that. And they. Then the other promise was government could supply teaching and learning materials to schools them, so that they relieve the burden of the schools them for able for buy the teaching and they. Then they back we able for accomplish that one day. So by and large, the president be promised say back he go phase out the six three four four system last year because it been put additional burden on the parents and it along the number of years for the beginning for complete secondary education. Then the back we will accomplish that one day. Uh, that no means say we don't get challenges, but a greater part of what the president really promised the people of this country for the implementation of the first phase of the free quality school education program, we will accomplish that. So I'm um, doing the first phase. I want to know if we're getting the challenges then we on our facing. Yes, the challenge is then, but first it get for do with the increased enrollment. Because the president pronounced more picking their way than parents they not be able to pay for them for go school then come into the school system. This year the the the, the Becker examinations alone what they get like then thirty five thousand. This trip now almost one hundred and thirty five thousand. 
no? We account for almost 15 billion we government they pay for the students then they so we expect increased enrollment. Of course you go with the pressure in the classrooms then. So we've been there for build more additional classrooms for able to accommodate some of the areas then outside the picking then they increase the enrollments though. Some schools they also they mean get space but they don't get furniture. So president through the Minister of Finance, Jesu uh, Safa, they approve for make we purchase furniture for some of them schools then they so that we able to relieve them of the overcrowding. So then one then are the measures them where we take for some of that particular challenge. The other challenge get for do with the examination malpractices then where they take place. Uh, some picking them and some stakeholders them I think they may not take uh, examination as a field for conduct malpractices. This trip we use serious surveillance methods and we get for make sure say we prevent Boku people them for engaging that. And then the way EBC them persist as the talks were just they review this now. The number of cases they will don't put in a court on people they will caught on examination malpractices. Some of them are people, some are teachers, some are people and are private people that will engage in the process of conduct of the US African Examinations Council. So that's now another challenge for change the mindset for many people that know say we need for make sure certificates then credible. The third uh, challenge now the refusal of people for accept change, you know, and accept change. Most people then don't use business as usual, especially in with decentralization efforts. Then, at the central level, at other levels, people and they find it difficult for devolved authority to the local councils going down. But in the ministry, we don't try to overcome that by making sure that everybody will make let them know say for make them go rate to performance high. We need for give some of the functions then to local councils for making them help we for the develop the system itself. The other challenge now the conditions of service for the teachers. You know, uh, teachers they always don't they tell we say now governments get the free education but then they get the quality aspect of it. That's not true. So twenty eighteen by the supplementary budget, government be able for increase the salaries of the teachers within at the lower grade. But the other grades they know. But then I uh, just want for make uh, they know say twenty nineteen me take them as the year for looking to the welfare of the teachers. The president committed to that and I think say the teaching service trade group negotiating council where they talk for terms and conditions of service for teachers who don't done the negotiations. And I know the government, uh, the president will make a pronouncement. We will make the teachers then glad for the 2019-20 academic year. So, mm -hmm. book challenge and they especially also for distribute the books then, for make them go reach the schools then. Some schools then they far away. The terrain so very difficult for make we do that day. So, but then they are general, you know, uh, infrastructural constraints. But all of them and they will go for some months there anyway. So as you talk about the book distribution, and are all the schools that within the country are able to distribute the books then too? Yes, all all over the country. The ones that government have sister school and government school, then get the books there. Um, uh, we see this being same where we don't get series of flooding at the country, especially in the city. Um, I go want to know because you know most of the area then they we get um picking them way ABC they go school where we don't benefit from them and court textbook there so we wanna give them out. So what thing will be the fate of them picking and they in case the book not they again with them? No, we they conduct right now uh, an assessment for the picking that will become affected as a result of the flood in the western area supported by the World Bank. Of course we they face few of them situation they not much in the area of like destruction of the school materials them. However, from the ministry point of view with the development partners, now my deputy minister of education, Madam Gogra, now in the lead that particular process there for make sure say the outcome of it will go able for camp or bring about some support to their families and they will suffer as a result of the flooding. So I um, we look again school liquor open it will be nobody free will be nobody the school feeding um program will be they go on other the schools them. I go want to know if it, it gets for continue this um, academic year. Yes, it definitely they continue and will they expand more and more. Just a few minutes ago, I just signed the cabinet paper where they go, where the side government don't put about 69 billion, billion, you know, for the school feeding program. So, President 
committed to whatever I say. So we very much happy in the ministry because whatever I tell we say it do, it don't encourage you for make we make sure we come forward with that. So the school feeling they expand. And as you say, it expand. We don't see schools them um, way in the city. We don't benefit from the school feeding program. Then schools then they again get for include. Yeah, no, we scale down from the cities then. We go more to the remote areas then. You know the reason is simple. A city yeah, people then get access to bakum amenities then. You know if you know cook chef person go able suicide they buy something and this but that's not the case. We go way beyond the Krubola. So the scaling up they take place more in the provincial, sorry, in the remote areas where the outside may be the district headquarter towns. And uh, during the press conference where you'll be attending, you make measure of um, schools them with the government um, bill. And on last year, or schools that we're about for finish. I want to make you make it clear for me. Yes, the construction of schools in a continuous process. We just come up with local rendez here for go and say some of the schools here they can construct through the European Union, the Catholic Relief Service, Government Union Contribution, the, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, then save the equip and that side. So we, that is continuous. As long as the enrollment they increase now so more, we need more picking them where they go to school, and so we build the school. So in just care for be continuous as a government will continue for do that day. So um when we get for experience the one shift um system? Well, the one shift system would depend almost gradually for phase amount. The manifest to commitment of government is three years. We just don't do one year. And we get now districts that we know shift system not the again. I don't need to permit and do a compilation from these statistics we don't collect this year. We go able for know now from which districts some schools then remain. But before the third year of my other view in presidency, we go to make sure say we bring the two shift system to a halt. So as a minister, are you pleased with the um, MPSC results this year? To a large extent, yes. I think say, we not do bad too much. <clears throat> what didn't happen no more now because we increase surveillance, making sure that the examination more become more credible. Now it make no more the and cry. The. But by and large, the best grade for last year was 354. This year, the best grade now 316. So which means in terms of individual achievements, this one yeah, this year is better than the la one t uh, last year. Cumulatively, when you take a look at the general statistics, the one the last year, the pass, it passed this one small, the number of persons that will pass, but the quality of passes this year better than the other one. But one interesting thing will happen for this now, because of the way, way the girl picking them, then surpass the boy picking them this tip. Out of the, the, the best five now, four now women, the first na women, the second na girl, the third na girl, the fourth na boy, and the fifth na girl. So this na kudos to the to the young girls. Them it shows that if they are given the opportunity, they can do also better. So how the um, free quality education get for look like this year? The president will get for make the pronouncement in with commemoration of the one year. We likely will take place next week when the president come up from the overseas trip, and are they get for make a. You recount some of your achievements and probably make some pronouncements on what will be the additional uh, things that we want to bring to the free quality school education program. For now, me no competent for do that. Day. So to all wait you don't say so waiting at the message we go want for art. Well we message to the people of Sierra Leone now for make their know say this now for the people of Sierra Leone. Every parent, a guardian, PPS them then for embrace this one as soon. This is an opportunity we get for change the narrative. Over the years we don't be the waters of West Africa. That position we've done lost that for decades. So this is an opportunity. Now that uh, the government is committed to paying and doing some of them things here, we the urge every parents for making encouraging child or what for making them go to school. And not only for go to school, when they come out school, they're able for sit and so study. Now, I make government make sure see they give them the books then for take them home so that they go able for study at the end of the school because at the end of the day, now they will have a for, for take over the development of this country. Okay, thank you very much. 
I must not only listen to within the Minister of Basic and Senior Secondary School Education, where now Honorable Alpha Timbo, don't talk about the school reopening, and also don't talk about some of the success where they make during the first phase of the free quality education. May we carry this program to now today. My name is Aisatu Smaisi. So till we meet again to another edition of the program, talk to the camera. I say, ta-ta.